fix on Dash Radio. Get the shit. Me forty fonts are really. Hey yo, uh, Danny was dope. Record hating hell. Danny has a a good vibe, yo. Oh yeah, he's eclectic. Spell it. That's my nigga though. Yeah. Yeah, you know I love I mean? being an artist. Artists are always, you know, I'm every first... artist is different. Every artist has, you know, you expect artists to be different, obviously. You but... got to expect them to be weird. Be weirdos on the yeah. low. For real. Be weirdos, <laughs> weirdos. I don't want to uh... say weirdo. I'll say weird. Nah, some of the most uh, nah, yo, some yeah, of the weirdo, most creative yo. people you are. You own it. You ain't yeah, like weird. like I'm half weird. Like, I'm half weirdo. I'm half, nah, nigga, you 100% thousand percent <laughs> weird. We can try to dress it up, though. You just misunderstood, broken. All that shit. from just... Trying to just just striving to be different, yeah. just as like you clean, I want to be dirty. Yeah, you feel me? Like I want to be, I love this shit. And like, to the you know people that's artists, like, yeah. like regular, that's not like that. They would get offended if yeah. you told them they were weird and, and all that shit. Yeah. But to the creative, you don't give a fuck. Yeah, because they you so look at that like so a compliment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm like, yeah, hell yeah, dog. I'm, fucking, <laughs> hell yeah. I'm proud to be as creative and weird. Cause I mean. I try to fit in. Yeah. I swear, like, I'm the type of nigga that's like, I'm trying to fit in. Niggas like, what you mean? You're already cool. It's like, nah, but it's like, because I had this conversation with my nigga. He, like, the coolest nigga. He mm-hmm. run the club shit. Like, he got it popping. You know what I mean? He looks dope. Like, he got the whole shit. Local local fly nigga. And I'm mm-hmm. like, I'm trying to be like you. The nigga looked at me like, why you want to be like me? I'm just like, look, like, you situated. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying you conditioned, but, like, how you got your shit going, like, people can depend and rely on you. To look like that every day, mm-hmm. to, to to do everything you got, mm-hmm. niggas like me, that shit might look good now, but you know, depending on how shit get a little rocky and funky, you know, yeah. you feel me? It's yeah. like so I do aspire to be like I want to say conditioned, but everybody can't be an artist and have the freedom to like be outside the line, and that's how we all benefit like a yin and yang situation. It's like, yeah. but I'm on this side of the game, my nigga. Like, yeah, yeah, that's, <laughs> and this shit popping. Once we, you know, because you know you're an artist, right? Well, let's go ahead. Yeah, let's go ahead and let Codigo introduce yeah. who we got on the mic. Go, yeah. ahead. go ahead, Codigo. Oh, so right now we have Moy Bond with us. Yeah, Word Mr. Up. What They Gonna Tell Us. I'm in the building today, yeah, man. You know, we gotta stay ready. We gotta stay ready, man. Got to. Come on, we trying. Word. We trying. Word. 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 With the spiky boy shoes or something? Oh, yeah. The Christy boy. He pulled up in the 550. Who the fuck is this? That's a lit, man. I'm grinding every day, man. Trying to get to the next level. So you got the. You know, you got the jewelry, you got the cars, and you got the the, the uh, real estate too, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, I do. Uh-huh. I'm an entrepreneur. Before music, up. I started off as an entrepreneur, property development, private aviation. I did all that, but so now you got the credit connect and the whole thing. <laughs> all that, man. Right. You and tell, stay tell, ready. tell them your age too, so people know. I, yeah, I'm 24 years old. 24 years old with all that shit. Yeah, I'm That's 24. Nice. You, years you gotta, you can't That's just nice. be brushing it out. I'm 24 with all. You got to let oh, motherfuckers oh, know, you know what I'm saying? You know, me, honestly, I put a lot of pressure on myself. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of 24, 24-year-old niggas with bus passes, so oh. you got to floss them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, them niggas that don't even got that. Them niggas got PlayStation controllers. Yeah. Like, <laughs> this nigga got 550. This nigga talking yeah. about getting the new PlayStation yeah. controllers. Niggas like, happy yeah. to get the new Madden. Yeah. Live. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> all that shit. <laughs> You're like, yo, I'll tell you, my nigga. Get that chicken, bro. Yeah, I'm trying. Like I said, I'm oh, just yeah. trying to be, you know, live to my best potential. That's you know good. what I'm saying? That's what's so up, man. That's all I can. I don't watch nobody. I just try to better myself every, you know, step that's in dope. life. There you go, so, man. So, uh, did you choose to do, like, marketing and, like, real estate to help fund your, like, your singing career, your music career, or was it just, like, that was your first passion and you found that, actually, I want to do music? Uh, my first passion was business, and then, you know, as I, as I really started to explore my talents, life is about, I have a dream. This music is a dream for me, but, you know, you still got to make sure the foundation is built. You know, just to secure the family. I got a son. You know, I got. I, I, I've been living without my mom since I was 19. I've been living on my own. So I just really tried to figure out ways that I can make sure that I never hit rock bottom. Hell yeah. You know that rock You're bottom. I've been there. You know that that don't feel good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So I just yeah, really. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know about that. Shit. I got nightmares <laughs> about going back. You know. Yeah, so yeah. now everything. You know, people always say real estate, real estate, but then who's really doing it? You get what I'm saying? I was always that person to actually go and do it. You know, go chase my dream. Go, you know, look, read, you know, take in information and stuff like that and keep on building myself. So I feel like that's what really differentiated, that made me different. That's dope. That's what's up. So what would you yeah. consider one was the, what was the lowest of the low 
of you, you know, building your hustle and getting to your, you know, where you're at now, what would you consider when you reflect back? What was your lowest moment? I mean, you know, I had low moments, you know, especially just moving out. I, you know, everything, life is always about low moments. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I have lots of my low moments. Even, you know, I might have the S55, the S550 outside, but, you know, you got to stay consistent in yeah, life. You, you get what I'm saying? Shit, yeah, I ain't yeah. a millionaire yeah. yet. Yeah. You know, you still got to make sure, yeah. you know, everything is going correct. Yeah, for sure. You yeah, know, no. you got to, so. It's, <laughs> it all, like, like, all got to work together. Yeah. Like, like Dr. J said, together. anybody could get it, but can you keep it? Can you, you keep, keep it? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The, ma- is, this is the, ma- yeah. the maintenance, the maintaining. It's the hard yeah. part. It's the hardest yeah. part of the game. For real. You know what I'm saying? That 550 in four years is going to have a new new, new body style. You know, you got to stay with it. You got to. You got to stay with it. It's just the upkeep on 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 just life. Yeah. Yeah. Lifestyle yeah. is, is and that you live in LA. Yeah, I, I live right in North Hollywood. North Hollywood. Yeah. So, so this is the question I had with somebody not too long ago. How much do you think it costs to to for the proper upkeep to be here in Hollywood? I like mean, a monthly budget. A monthly budget. Like on some real shit. Real. I mean, real shit. Monthly budget. You need to be making some somewhere. You know, living. I haven't really. All that shit is included. Yeah. All that included. All you probably got to be making like at least four to five thousand a no, month. Ten. Ten if, about with the car. Ten if oh with I, the apartment. See now with going out. You got to figure eat, it out. With the clothes. Yeah, yeah ten thousand if you trying to live a Los Angeles, yeah, Los yeah. Angeles lifestyle. Lifestyle. Yeah, you yeah, get what I'm sure. saying? That shit real out here. <laughs> it's real out here. <laughs> that shit real you out better, here. you better really yeah. know how that's to handle said, money. That's why I say a lot of niggas on them birds. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. Not, not for fun either. All like, the top ramen dinners, <laughs> nigga. Yeah, I pulled up in my Uber with a bird. Yo, I'm here though, nigga. Like, all right, where, where? I got you, nigga. I got you. But what, <laughs> one thing about LA kind of reminds me of New York. You gotta just really get your hustle on. There's so much on, yeah. ways to make money out yeah. here that it's like, there's no excuse. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? Just wake up early, do your research, and go out there and get it. You know, there's no excuse for, to me, that's how I look at it. Everybody got the same 24 hours. Don't yeah. look at, you know, envy somebody else. Oh, he's doing, no, we all putting in the same amount of work. We up right now at 9, 10, you know, mm-hmm. in the morning. Somebody might be asleep. So if everybody liked that content that you heard, like he said, you got the same 24 hours, but you what you need to do is download the Fix app. And for the rest of your 24 hours, make sure you listen to the rest of this content on the Fix app. We're going to take a small break. You listen to the Fix on Dash Talk X. All right, we're bringing it back. Um, I'm going to start off this, uh, this right here with uh, knowing just like the different hustle that you have to have with being in L.A. and being in New York. I mean, it's no different hustle. You got to have the same hustle anywhere you go. Mm-hmm. You, that, you, where you at shouldn't define what hustle you at. You get what I'm, every true hustler, you could put them anywhere. They going to make it out whatever situation they in. Of course, you know, I feel that. But I know, like, in New York, the pace is a little bit faster. They, You know, they say people on the East Coast are a little bit more, you know, persistent with their job, their work ethic, and everything that they're doing <laughs> more so than, you know, they say L.A. is more so. You know, you do have to be on your hustle, but it is a little bit more laid back. Do you feel like it is a little bit more laid back or do you do you feel like it is the same exact like get up get i mean that is i mean i guess it's the hustle you said yeah. it's the hustle you have to take everywhere i get but what you're saying you give me like the, I, as far as like people not maybe maybe you because mm-hmm. i'm pretty sure like you said it's consistency you probably you stay the same person everywhere you go yeah but as far as like the people do you feel as if do you see that hard work and work ethic and then versus the hard work and then laying back I, I feel as if New York, yes, is a little more fast paced, but LA, you still got to hustle. Everybody out here is doing something. You know, every you got to compete with the greats out here. A lot of people out here have high platforms yeah. really doing their thing. So that shit is. pump fakers, though, too. I mean, it's, a, it's less crabs in the barrel, though. <laughs> but the pump. Yeah. Like the crabs in the barrel back home on the East. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's just like, it's just like, yo, you come out here and it's just like, I wouldn't say it's sweet, but it's just like niggas ain't really worrying about because ain't nobody putting their foot on your neck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Unless you like, unless it's so like, you know, people doing the same hustle. Yeah. But it's so many different ways you can hustle out here mm-hmm. that you can't do back home. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That if you ain't knowing it, then it's like, yo, I got this whole lane to do this because you ain't really taking it as serious as I'm about to take it and eat off of it. And yeah. then when they see us do it, it's like, damn, you. 
you a hustler. It's like, <laughs> nah, nigga, you dumb. <laughs> <laughs> you had this shit your whole life, <laughs> and you still sitting up here <laughs> playing PlayStation and shit, like, <laughs> smoking weed and shit. But Kali, Kali is fruitful, though, for East Coast nigga. I ain't mm. even gonna hold you. Yeah. And I it's like it. that for a West Coast nigga or West Coast person to go to, to the East Coast. It's mm. just different environments that we see things different. And we can adapt to the uh, the, uh, the culture and environment and mm-hmm. just like just go for it, yo. Yeah. So I know you got a track called Six Figure Niggas. Tell yeah. us about that track Sick. before we play it for the uh, rest of you. Oh yeah, Six Figures. Um, Six Figures is just it's just saluting everybody that's just getting to it. You know, whatever you doing, you know, if you really trying to be successful at what you're doing and you working every day, busting your butt. Really trying to be great is is for a record for you, you know. I'm I'm just describing it in my way that relates to me. But the moral of the song is just everybody that's out there getting to it. I salute you. you, you said six that? figure nigga. Six yeah, figure six nigga. figure. Why, why six figure it. though? I just want to ask. So yeah, why yeah. six figure though? Uh, cause where where yeah. I'm from, you know, the the goal of success was six figures. You know, or once you hit six figures at anything, you kind of like successful at it, like. You get it, yeah. it, you know, it's hard to really make six figures a year. I know it seems light, but where I'm from, yeah, it's hard making 100000 a year, my mom didn't, you know, mm-hmm. I, where I grew up, people didn't make 100000 a year. If you made 100000 a year, that's considered, oh, now nah, he, you got a house, you got a car. Yeah, you're like a second class citizen almost. Like, yeah, almost, like, yeah. Now, I'm not saying you're wealthy, but yeah. you have, you know, you can live. Yeah, you're a little you comfortable. Can live. Yeah, 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 you yeah, can, you yeah, comfortable. You can live good, yeah. you can live good. You can get you Jordan. You can live better than the next. Yeah. I, so yeah. all you one figure niggas, we about to play <laughs> six figure niggas. You know what I'm saying? So all y'all motherfuckers sit back and listen to this six figure nigga shit. Uh, so yeah. hold the fuck on. You know what I mean? You listen mm-hmm. to the fix on Dash Talk X. It's your fucking weed up. And there we six have it. Figure. Six that figure nigga niggas for you one six figure, figure niggas. Figure <laughs> what they gonna tell us, man? What they gonna tell us? You know what they gonna say. You know what they gonna say. You know what they gonna say. Hey, hey, nigga, hey, hey, nigga, let me borrow a dollar. Let me pull some motherfucking money. Nigga. You know what I'm gonna tell him? I'm gonna give him a dollar. I'm gonna say your love, man. That's it. I tell nigga, man, you better work for it, motherfucking dollar. I'm looking at, looking at my shit. Yeah, you know, like I said, man, just everybody just keep grinding, you know. Yeah, man. That's the most you could do, and just try to send out the positive energy. That's it. Yeah, I, I know. know in the uh, I know in the video, you know, you playing, you know, the guy with money, you know. I just said, the I just asked him now. I gotta see the video. The song hot as shit, though, man. I ain't appreciate it, though, appreciate it, appreciate it, for real, though, for real. Know what I mean? It's like I, I got the message, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't yeah. really sound like no six figure shit, though. It's nah, just, nah, just that, rhyme, that's like, that's me from. You need at least six figures to buy the shit you talking about. At least, at least that. Entry level, but six figures. That's yeah, why so all you mean. EBT niggas. That ain't that, that's <laughs> that nigga for you. level. You know what I <laughs> mean? The shit he talking about, y'all niggas can't get it. <laughs> They get, the fake, the they get the fake shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit lasts for like three weeks. Yeah. This motherfucker. Fake like, ass Louis belt so good for shit, five dog. minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 man. Oh. It's, it's hey, I see a nigga bag serious? pop at the airport. <laughs> 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 is it ever that serious? That nigga face was like, like I seen it, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Did anybody see that? Yeah, I seen that motherfucking fake motherfucking uh, shit pop, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Should have stuffed that motherfucker so much. Right? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but see in the video, he um he's playing as you know he's cheating, not cheating, but well actually you are. Nah, cheating. I'm not cheating. But the girl's cheating. The girl is the cheating. The girl is cheating. Well, you know he's see, he's yeah. seeing the he's, he's seeing the agent's wife. You know, so I want to know why why uh why that why a particular you know that 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 uh vision for the the video. Uh, I had it because I felt like. I wanted to I wanted to go different with the video. You know, as when you hear that song, you're not thinking of something like that. And I feel like, you know, women like guys with you know, money, you know. So That's absolutely. You know, he's he's out there getting to it every day. He's probably making six figures, but you know, they want the lifestyle. You know, they like the lifestyle. Yeah. The lifestyle, you see the big crib. They need that. That's the White House I was yeah. in. You know what I'm saying? Got the White House, got the Rolls Royce to match mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. You know they they wanna they wanna they wanna drive in that Rolls Royce. No, but see, I like that because I feel like your storyline actually follows your video and like the song. And I feel like nowadays a lot of artists make songs and the videos. I don't even understand they be how they in connect. Front of the house yeah. Yeah. Because their budget they be, be they be in like <laughs> they know six the budget. They be in the, they be in the, <laughs> that's why that's why yeah girls don't get it. Like I don't understand. Like yeah, some niggas is broke. Yeah. They, can't, they can't afford the. The nah. lifestyle that they talking about. Yep. They got their yeah. homies' they, cars. They be in the yeah. middle yeah. of the they desert. They got auntie cars. Be, like, yeah. be, <laughs> be in the middle of the desert. Like, be in the middle of the desert talking about, yeah, we in Malibu hitting the coast, but you're clearly yeah, man. not 
at that location. Yeah. <laughs> That's why, you know, uh, fake it to make it is uh, it's a big thing. No, but see, you know I, I, mean? I I feel like a lot of artists have been doing Hope this. said that, like, though. Hope said, like, you know, niggas be rapping about the shit that they want. And um, they don't really be having it, so I guess that's the art form. Yeah, um, it's it's all music. art. Yeah. Number one thing about music, you gotta understand that it's art. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, me, my art, I really try to stay true to who I am. You get what I'm saying? I don't really get influence from other people and stuff like that. I try to really talk about me. I want the people to know who me, Moy Bond, is. This is me, six figures lifestyle. And as I, I'm dropping a project that's coming up this year, so. I, as you dive into the project, you'll really get to know more about my life. And like you That's said, dope. the low moments in my life. Mm-hmm. It's not all about Six Figure with me. I got different records, you know, really showing the versatility. Me, That's I dope. do singing. I could do everything. You That's know, dope. I'm a superstar. A lot of these niggas be going Definitely. for the, like, I'm about to be a billionaire. Like, your shit is more, like, believable. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like, you know, niggas ain't gonna never hit no billies. But <laughs> yeah. you just in the studio rapping about some shit. But... To say, like, because I could see that, because if you in the business and you making money, you already know, like, reality is, this is where I'm at with it. Yeah. On paper, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Or in the bank. This is what I can afford. Mm-hmm. And to be authentic, you're like, all right, well, shit. I could rap about the shit I got. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? You got the car, you got the tools, you got the clothes, you got the shit. You don't need to be a millionaire nah. to, have, to look good. Mm-hmm. But I had a conversation with another homie. At the end of the day... If you broke and you start making more than a hundred thousand a year, you can actually a hundred thousand a year I make you look like a millionaire. You can afford that's a lot of money. God shit, you can afford the the Balenciaga. You can do, you know, you can show up to the party in a nice way. Fucked up, man. But that's the thing. It it is what it is. What are you looking fucked up? The the brands. (laughs) Yeah, they do. Niggas just be wearing the brand because of the, the brand. Name just because yeah, of yeah, the yeah. yeah like they don't, they don't, they don't have no fashion education. None. They just still consumers. None. They went from buying fucking polo to Balenciaga with no education. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah man. And these niggas, niggas don't even really get them make the real it, money like that too. These niggas too, make it look I mean? real easy to be looking flossy out here. Yeah. The way these niggas get dressed, like they get dressed in the dark. Like real shit, yeah. niggas yeah. with money do not know how to dress <laughs> at all. You know, like, they right? just too busy making they, money. Yeah, they too busy making money. <laughs> me, yeah. I, honestly, I don't even care about the dress. All right, just give me the money. Yeah, the like money. you yeah. know, <laughs> right? But you got you got to keep the perception up, and that's that. that's what costs money. Mm-hmm. But you got to think yeah. when you have a level of confidence, the clothes yeah. don't make mm-hmm. you exactly. I could wear a white yeah. tee right yeah. now. I'm gonna make it look good. That's how you got to look do at Dr. Dre. He wear a black tee, black jeans, and Air Forces every day. But you seen his closet? Afford that shit. Yep. You see this closet? Yep. Yeah. His closet. All fresh Air Forces. All fresh Air Forces. Mm-hmm. But, that, that be, but you got, you know, you gotta have, you gotta have guap to do some shit. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe yeah. they had the same shit, but you got like some rundown Jones. <laughs> These motherfuckers is leaning yeah, yeah. to the left. Like, but but I bet before he had that money. You know? But I bet before he had that money. Mm-hmm. He probably had those two Air Forces and had it in rotation. Yeah, and right. that's how like he got to do. the Billy. Yeah, no yeah. doubt. No doubt. So you no been, uh, you do music with was Quincy? Not Quincy. Uh. Christian. Christian. Oh, Christian. Yeah, Christian. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know Lil V? Oh, of course that's I know my V. Nephew, oh, yeah, that's your yeah, nephew? Yeah, that's my dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, V's my v, guy. Yeah, Big V, that's my uncle. Yeah, yeah, I just was in Atlanta yeah, with yeah, them. Yeah, that's my, that's, that's family. Oh, that's pardon. That's, that's, yeah, I for real. That. That's dope, though. Yeah, that's, that's family. That's crazy, yo. Yeah. That's all family all right family. there. Tell us about that, like some of the stuff you guys worked on. Yeah, oh, we we got a song on my project called Drop Your Location. Um, yeah, we just been working. We just been working. They they definitely been supportive of me, you know, in this new music venture that I'm taking. So I'm definitely grateful to have family like that, you know, you next know. to me as I build, you know. Yeah. And they just keep motivating That's me, dope. you know, telling me to keep working. You know, we believe in you. So if we believe in you, you know, you could do it. That's so, what's up, yeah, man. So. That's what's That's up. That's coming from the big dog. Yeah, there, you know, yeah. we believe in you, you know. Yeah. What more you want? That's yeah. dope. That's dope. You know, you got to believe first. Before yeah. you make anything happen in life, you got to believe. Ain't nobody in this room can make yeah. you, you know. Be, yeah, yeah, so... You know, yeah. that's 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 definitely I'm grateful for them. So, so how did you stumble across the Cone Brothers? Um, actually, um, I when I first moved to LA, I first moved to LA, and we just we both from New York. We knew about each other from New York, but once we came to LA, it's only but so much yeah. New York people out here. So we just mutual friends, and then we just clicked. Since then, every day we just been with each other. Like it's been so crazy every day. So what you feel New York hip hop needs to, you know, kind of really 
put themselves back in the forefront, you know, because the South right now is still kind of running. Stuff. I feel like I feel like we gotta go harder. We gotta we gotta be more supportive of our New York homes. niggas need to make some songs, yo. Yeah, that's what it's about. That's what I'm here for. All the real hard shit, like you gotta make. That's what I'm here. You know, we got the six. Yeah, that's what I'm. And then, and then I take. The that, I'm like, here, uh, New York. I'm here. What's the one guy too? That's that. That's making songs. Um, from Brooklyn. The nigga oh, Takashi? No, 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 no. Uh, not A Boogie. Oh, right? Dave A Boogie. A Boogie. A Boogie. Oh, yeah, he's dope. Yeah, yeah. He's dope. He got melodies. Though. Yeah, he's dope. Yeah, he I like that like, Boogie. That's what I think, like, um, Atlanta, because I'm from Philly, and I like I like up top music, like yeah. lyrical shit with a message. But when it comes to songs and, 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 and people, people want to sing along. They don't want to rap along. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We want to rap along because we understand whatever comes with the message. But. Mm-hmm. I think Atlanta niggas, they just understand the rhythm and, and, and the melodies. And these little niggas know how to create these melodies that become so catchy. Yeah. That it ain't just New York that's losing out. It's just Atlanta got the fucking sound. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's going to be hard to kind of everything got its take time. that or duplicate it. But mm-hmm. it, it created a whole new thing, though. Like, now it's pushing more rappers to actually have some type of melody mm-hmm. in your flow. Yo, then you got your Bryson Tillers. You got your... You know what I mean? Like you can mix it up now, mm-hmm. auto tune, and like that shit fly. Like I like you know just being creative. Travis Scott killed it. You know he raps. So, oh, so, so, so when you do. when you headline yeah, the garden, man, though, you know we want that them tickets. Music. Come on, you know you yeah, good already. You know, what I'm saying? Yeah, you know y'all got my line directly, man. Come on, <laughs> okay, we need to be set up in the skybox. That's yeah, it. Yeah. Well, you know watch the show. Y'all see the y'all seen the girl. Yeah, you know, right now I'm working right now, but like, I, wait till the project drop. You, you when that shit come out? I, I'm really shooting for November 30th. You know, I'm shooting for that, but definitely before the year's over, because you know, I'm just putting the fine touches to it. I really want it to be something special, so I'm definitely making it something great. So when it's here, just know it's gonna be great. I'm not half-assing it. Everything on there is gonna be, you know, a go. There's no fillers in there, guarantee. <laughs> How many songs are you gonna have on this project? I'm gonna probably have eight to nine songs. No fillers in there. All videos? Uh, all videos. You know, I'm I'm shooting a video November 5th. I'm shooting a video in New York. And after that, I'm shooting in Miami. Okay. That's what's up, man. So tell everybody where they can find you on social media. And then one more time, drop when that project's coming out. Because, you know, some niggas, they yeah. just don't be staying focused, man. <laughs> yeah, you know? I got to keep them in. The one figure niggas, man. We got to keep them focused. Hey, what about the no, the no figure niggas that's yeah. living off their bitch? Yeah, yeah, the no figure niggas, you know, they be tripping. They with their you know? they, they girl, like, I need you to buy me that, that shit. Hell, yeah. Yeah, what you talking and then about the girl be drooling over this nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, you know why yeah, she yeah, paying yeah. for this shit? You looking you know? at that nigga, well, buy me what the fuck that nigga got on shit. Trying to wear the shit this nigga wear. He talking that shit, though. We got fair guy in there. What else you very yeah. God denim, yeah, well, off white, all you know. White talking that shit. I'm just, like, I'm okay. just, I'm just giving them the blueprint. Up. A lot of them niggas don't know what the fuck that they, is. they do. They just can't afford <laughs> that shit. They're like, oh, I need that. All they some pro shit. club ass, <laughs> for real, triple A ass niggas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. oh, no, 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 off brand ass shit. Hell that's yeah. where niggas is buying that. For real, you know, for two real. shorts for forty dollars. Like, yeah. oh, they ain't getting. Oh, Dickie's But bitches still, <laughs> bitches still fuck with niggas like that, though. That's what be cracking me the fuck up, though. Well, that's because they on that level, though. They yeah, know they, they, know they can't cross over to the other level. They try to you go You know, up. this yeah. this level is a lot to deal with. True. You get what well, I'm saying? You, you know gotta... you want to be in this fucking Rolls Royce. Stop playing. Get in here. <laughs> She's like, you're right. True, <laughs> true. true. Yeah. I just, she right. pull up right in the bird. Right on the corner. Right in the bird. Right in the bird. Right off this bird. And shit like, I'm getting the Rolls Royce. I don't know about you. Come on, bitch. You go to Roscoe's, bitch. <laughs> Yo, bitches will do that though, for real. With like, with a six figure, seven figure nigga, like, yeah. you think a bitch ain't going to hop on the jet with a nigga that's wearing fair god and of all course. that shit? Of course, of course they want to do that. That's the that's the move. You yeah, got man. you got to show you got to really show people that yo, it's you know it looks nice, but mm-hmm. you no, know, there's a lot of dark moments where it could have just been over. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? They don't understand with great risk, you know, yeah, yeah, comes yeah, sure, these yeah, rewards. Yeah, sure. Everybody be laughing at you when you try to do something new. Oh, I want to do this. Oh, you can't do that. You know what people told me? I couldn't do what I wanted to do. That's because they didn't believe in the shit they really wanted to do. So they tried to keep you from doing they what you wanted. That's why they didn't want to niggas. And then be the niggas sure. that you fly by in that S550. Like, yo, yo, you good? Like, you good? You good? Right. Yeah. Right. You know, let me, like, let me know if you need anything. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I work hard. Like, I'm grinding That's every dope. day. <laughs> So tell everybody where they can find you on social media, man. Oh, yeah. Moy Bond, M-O-Y-B-A-U-N on social media. That's Instagram, Twitter. Twitter, M-O-Y-B-A-U-N with two N's. 
And SoundCloud Moy Bond, just, you know, make sure you know the name. M-O-Y space B-A-U-N. There you have it, and that's Moy Bond. You listen to The Fix on Dash Talk X. We're going to take a quick break, and we're going to come back with them hot topics. And Mazzilla's in the building. So uh, stay tuned.